Day two of a co collapsed crane in Hialeah. Heavier cranes were hauled in to remove the one that fell. So far, little progress has been made. Local 10 News reporter Terrell Fournay is live in Hialeah with this story. Terrell. And tonight, three more industrial sized cranes have been brought into this area to help with this job. This neighborhood is a uh, warehouse district that is just east of the Palmetto, right off of West Okeechobee Road. But these crews have quite the work cut out for them. Piece by piece, parts of a toppled large crane are being disassembled and hauled up and out by other large cranes that have been brought in to help clear away the wreckage. This piece was loaded onto a flatbed late Saturday, part of a job that is expected to take at least several days to complete. No, it's incredible, it's incredible. And seeing the damage up close is hard to believe for people in the area that we spoke with tonight. And the mess inside of the building, just as bad, if not worse. The owner of a cabinetry business tells us the accident sets him back tens of thousands of dollars at least, all because of the crane that tipped over and crashed through the roof of his business on Friday. Look closely, you can still see where one of the support beams of the crane buckled. Surveillance cameras were rolling at the time. The mobile crane was hoisting a roughly 500 pound piece of equipment when it somehow became unbalanced, causing the accident. A big problem for sure, but it's one that did not cause any injuries. Pretty remarkable considering the size and scope of the crane and the crash. Workers will be out here every day until the job is done. Maybe I need two more days for work. Yeah, so just exactly how long it will take will be up to, obviously, time. But, you know, these workers, they're really operating in such a delicate space. There are a lot of power lines that are around here. And, in fact, uh, these three cranes are within. Uh, they are literally boxed in with uh, all of these uh, electric wires. Uh, but they are operating as safe as possible. They've gone home for the night, but we understand that they will be back out here first thing tomorrow morning to continue this very delicate job. Reporting live from Hialeah, I'm Terrell Fournay, Local 10 News.